What's up guys, Daniel is here, back with another tutorial video and today is the day we are all waiting for it. Perhaps some of you already guessed what will happen in this video from the title. Yes, today we officially announced that beta version of Online Academy Presenter is ready to use. In this compact tutorial video, we, are, we will get to know this online service together and also we are going to discuss some details. First question, why and when do we need this online service? As you may probably know, on symposiums and conferences, researchers need to show their work to their colleagues. And utilizing personal computer for presentation may not always be possible due to time limitation or regulations. What would you do in this situation? Set up your computer after the previous talk in 5 minutes and rush into the stage, lose your focus and confidence just for the technical issues? Nobody thinks that this is a reliable approach. But don't worry, we found a reliable solution for this problem. We are honored to present you Online Academic Presenter, a state-of-the-art presentation technology that requires no setup or configuration and saves you from this stress. This online presentation platform has been developed by using latest web technologies HTML5 and CSS3 to store and present Academic Presenter projects on the different devices regardless of their operating system. Users can upload the prepared project with the offline version of Academic Present into the online system and present them efficiently by using any web browser, even on their tablets or smartphones. This online presentation platform provides more mobility for the users to move without carrying their personal computers. Academic Presenter, unlike other alternatives, is not using flash technology. This particular feature comes handy for end users since it saves battery power and as a result of that your hardware can support your longer in presentations. Online Academic Presenter not only saves your battery but also saves your storage capacity. Besides, this service can help you to share your work whenever you want with your colleagues through social media and collect feedbacks about your presentation. The second question is, how can we use online platform? In order to use the online service, there are several steps we should go through. First, registration. Second, submission. And third, presentation. Registration. The registration process is very simple. First, open academicpresenter.com and go to login page. In there, you can log in with your username and password or register if you are a newcomer. New users can register by writing their email address directly from email sign up or register with Facebook and Google Plus account. After registration, a random password will be sent to your email with a link and from there you can change your password. Afterward, you can enter to your profile from login page. Two, submission. The submission is possible in two ways. The better one is to submit your project with offline version of Academic Presenter. This approach is available from version 2.4 that is going to be released very soon. However, we will have a glance into these new features together. The required steps to upload your project right from offline version are as follows. First, design your project with Academic Presenter and save the project on your hard drive. Two, from file menu, choose upload to server. 3. Enter the username and password and click on upload. 4. Wait until software prompt the success of the process. Required time to upload is varying based on project size, internet speed and web service traffic. The second approach is to upload XML project file through the web service. The necessary steps are as follows. Go to Academic Presenter website, log into your account, Choose Upload from top left menu.
Press Choose button and select your XML project. Press Upload and it's done. This method is not preferable since your uploaded project will not have thumbnail and also handwriting will not be supported. Three, presentation. For the presentation, first, open Academic Presenter online with your browser. Second, log into your account. Third, from top left menu, choose Gallery. You can see the list of uploaded projects onto the system. Under each project, there are four buttons, View button with an eye icon, Edit information with a pen and paper icon, delete project with an eraser icon, and share. There is another button that appears under shared project that redirects you to its private page to monitor the rank and other users' comments and feedbacks. 4. Choose view button from here. You can see that the project is downloading into your system. Now. Click on play button at the center of the screen to begin the presentation. There are some control buttons in bottom part for navigation. To summon this panel, double click on left bottom corner of the screen. To go to the next keyframe, press right key on the keyboard or click on the next button from navigation panel at the bottom of the screen. Contrarily, to return to previous keyframe, press left key on the keyboard or press previous from navigation panel. To blackout the screen, select blackout from panel. Finally, to change the stretch option, choose a stretch width, height or both. There will be some more options when you reach to a frame with video playback or when you have bookmarks. To display bookmark list, first black out the screen and then choose bookmarks. Move the cursor over item of interest and click on it. Finally, to end the show, press stop from navigation panel. Thanks for watching this tutorial video and I will catch you with some tips and tricks about sharing your work in social media and presenting in the smartphones in the next videos. Peace.